John McEntee was a close aide to President Trump and director of the White House Office of Presidential Personnel. After that experience, he realized there was no real easy way to meet and date like-minded conservatives. So he started his own dating app called The Right Stuff, <laughs> and he's been testing it out personally. I matched with Jordan on The Right Stuff. We're on our first date. When the weather is hot and brush the sky, you got women, you got women on your mind. That date, one of 50 first dates McEntee is going on, taking him all over the country in his quest for love. I think he's about halfway through the journey. John McEntee <laughs> joins us now. I'm surprised you didn't bring a date with you. Or did you? <laughs> I didn't, and yeah. because I'm here, I have to do two dates tomorrow oh. to make up for it. Okay. So. Lunch right. and dinner. <laughs> so so let, before we get into the, the dates themselves, let's talk about the app itself. Um, you know, why was there a need for this, and, and what kind of traction are you getting? There's an app for almost every group. There's an app if you're Jewish. There's an app if you're a single parent. There's an app for music lovers. But there hasn't been an app until now for conservatives, and that's the identity most important to a lot of people when it comes to dating. So what we're trying to do is say, if you're in New York or Los Angeles or Chicago, where we'll be this weekend, and you want to meet other conservatives, you now have a place to do that. And uh, you can find like-minded people, go out with them, have fun, and see what happens. And you're seeing some good growth? Yeah, we're seeing some good growth. We had 11,000 downloads in May, 12,000 in June, 15,000 in July, and we're hoping August will be bigger. Okay, so 50 first dates. You're on date 26? 26 are completed, 24 to go. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, and, and I mean, you, you take them on some pretty extravagant uh, dates, including Taylor Swift. Tonight's her last night at SoFi, night number six. There you are. This is your date night at Taylor Swift. Uh, she's a liberal. <laughs> and you still enjoyed it. <laughs> we still enjoyed it. I don't buy into the thing that you can't enjoy things because someone's a liberal. I think certain boycotts are necessary sometimes. But, you know, every uh, farmer is a Republican. I don't see the left going without food. Um, <laughs> I think we can still, you know, enjoy other things. Would you date a liberal? Would I date one? Probably not. Would I marry one? Absolutely not. Okay. <laughs> That's an honest answer. That's a very honest so, answer. So let's talk about some of the other experiences. Some we see you with the Barbie movie, which speaking we've, speaking of conservatives. We've done the Barbie uh, movie. Yeah. What are some of the other experiences you've had? Some yeah. of the we went to the Morgan moments. Wallen concert. Right. As you see there, we did a helicopter ride over New York City. That was pretty amazing. And actually, it's, it's shocking that um, it doesn't have to be an extravagant date to have a lot of fun. Some of the most fun I've had was doing an escape room or going paddle boarding yesterday or uh, a dance class in Santa Monica that was $30. So yeah. it doesn't have to be extreme to have a good time. And are you, uh, you know, second dates with these women? There's been a few second dates. I don't have a lot of time since I'm doing this. Yeah. Um, but I've met a lot of great people. They're all fun. They're all cool. No bad dates so but far. But so many. I'm sure you got to take notes and be like, Jordan, I liked her smile or whatever right. it may be. <laughs> um, so let me ask you. I'm going to make this a little personal because I met my husband, John, and you two look like you could be brothers, by the way, on a dating app. Uh, there's our very first photo together. We've been married for almost six years next month. But, uh, John, I got so tired of dating that I refused to do, like, long dates. I would only agree to do like coffee or lunch just because I would know within the first five minutes if they have a shot. And so you're spending hours at, at a time on a date. I mean, that, that's been fine for you? It's been fine. It's been a lot of fun. I'm meeting really great people. They all have different stories. They're all looking for, looking for love, looking to meet other conservatives, and uh, we're just having a good time. Okay, so on The Bachelor, we see there's often like a kiss at the end of the night or more. What, how's that going? We're keeping it pretty light. We're doing just, you know, fun activities. Um, <laughs> so nothing there yet. Nothing yeah. there yet. Yeah. Okay. Keep so you, you take them to baseball games, but you don't round to home plate right. necessarily. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not even first base. Not even first base. Okay. <laughs> and if you were to find the one on, say, date 28... Are you going on all 50? If I find the one on date 28, she's going to come and film the next 22. <laughs> <laughs> that would be, that'd be love. That'd really be love. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, so uh, and uh, while I got you, I got to ask one quick uh, uh, political no. question. Yeah. You know Donald Trump so well. You understand his mindset. You've been with him so many times. Do you think he's going to debate in, in two weeks? I do not think he's going to debate in two weeks. I think he might debate at some point. I think he has such a big lead, it's not necessary. And I think uh, as time goes on, as we get closer to actual voting, he may need to, you know, come out and make his case. But I think right now 
He can just run on his track record, and I think every indictment makes him stronger. Okay. Uh, and in terms of the app itself and the dates going forward, what's the, the craziest, biggest date you have still to come? I'm going to Chicago this weekend, so we're still planning those, thinking of a Bears preseason game, maybe a, a boat architecture tour. I've heard a lot about those. Uh, so some fun things in Chicago. Then we'll be back in and, Southern California to finish it out. And you plan all this? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. You're going to go broke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll make big money when this yeah. app continues I mean, to be one downloaded. The, one or the other. Yeah, the Right Stuff app is available for iPhone. You can follow John's dating journey, journey on Instagram at Date Right Stuff. Yeah, and the, the, it's really entertaining, the social posts about this. I appreciate it. That uh, was fun. We're playing Prince's Kiss, which maybe John will get eventually. <laughs> we'll <laughs> someday, see. Someday down the road. John McAtee, thank you. We'll be back with more news right after this. Just want you.